just kind of talking about the district as a whole um, and whatnot. For those of you who have who were at House of Delegates this afternoon, it'll echo some of those things there that kind of echo what Governor Bruce has said and echo what Trustee Rob has said. So it's sorry, <laughs> you'll hear this multiple times. But anyway, here it goes. So this year, um, this year has been a new and a very different innovative year for Pennsylvania District and Circle K International. Let me take a few moments to illustrate how the PAC has had a year like no other. First off, there are usually a handful of district officers who have had previous experience on the district board, who have had the experience of seeing Pennsylvania Circle K from behind the scenes, and making sure that the district is functioning as well as it should. However, no member of this district board has ever had that experience. I applaud all the district officers with whom I have had the gracious honor um, to have worked in, worked with this past year. I thank you for your leadership and so does the Pennsylvania District of Circle K International. So with a fresh new board this year came fresh new ideas. As an example of this, Interpac was run in a way that it has never been run before in the past. Interpac was at, in past years, Interpac was <coughs> held at a campsite with attendees, attendees sleeping in cabins, performing service projects for the campsite, while doing team building activities throughout the weekend. This year, Interpac was modeled after CKI's large-scale service project event held a few days before International Convention. During Interpac this year, we had our home base at Laurel Lodge in Duncansville, and we split into groups to perform, uh, perform service for nearby Altoona community. Um, so how many of you here have worked at Interpac in the fall? Excellent, so good, good number. Um, another new idea from this board was the creation of the PAC swag, um, which included the Eliminate bracelets and the PAC pennies um, as fundraising efforts to help um, fight maternal neonatal tetanus and the pennies to help offset the cost of district convention. Not only are the district board members completely new, but again, I'm also new to this position um, as the district administrator, as well as Dave being new as uh, in the position of district assistant administrator. I've had the experience of being a Circle K member, being on the district board for Pennsylvania Circle K, being on the Qantas committee for Pennsylvania Circle K, but not being the one heading up Pennsylvania Circle K from the Qantas end of things. But let me tell you, it was one heck of a year, and I couldn't be more proud of what we had, we had accomplished this year. We've had our ups and downs, but if our bumps in the road were not expected, then I don't think we would have had a realistic expectation of what was to come. The board this year has met these challenges with grace and moved on to do what needed to be done. They set up deadlines for themselves and for the most part stuck to them to a T. It was awesome working with such a dedicated group of individuals. Now let me take some time to talk about the Pennsylvania District as a whole. At the beginning of the year, the district board had set goals to be accomplished by the end of the administrative year on March 31st. Did we meet all of these goals or does it look like we'll meet all these goals? No, I don't think so, but this is not a sign of failure. If these goals were set at such a low standard for the sake of meeting the goals, then, we can, then can we honestly say we are proud of meeting these goals? By setting goals that are achievable, but at the same time, risking the chance that we may not actually be able to actually achieve them, it encourages us to push a little harder and get things done. And with that, we can strive to be better for it. And now, I would also like to highlight a specific club's achievement, one that we as a district board can be as a district can be proud of. One goal set by the district board this year was to raise $9,000 for the Eliminate project. We have not reached this goal, however, one effort that it would call successful was the Westchester University Circle Case Volleyball Tournament held earlier this month. Um, the, thanks to efforts of all involved with the volleyball tournament, Westchester University Circle K raised $1,300 to benefit the Eliminate project in one single event. As stated in Qantas, one can make a difference. <laughs> At this time, I would also like to invite Pennsylvania Qantas Eliminate Chair Ethan McBeth to join me up at the podium. As you may or may not know, during the efforts of the Eliminate Project, a donation of $1,250 can be made to Qantas International Foundation to save 690 mothers and their future babies from the devastating effects of MNT. In return, the prestigious Zelda Medallion will be given to the donor or another recipient. This medallion is named after Walter Zeller, who was the first donor to the Qantas International Foundation after its formation in 1940. Katie. 
I am extremely proud to say that we will be presenting a Zeller medallion to a very deserving individual. I honestly don't know anyone who is more passionate about the Eliminate Project than this person. <laughs> this person was also pivotal in the continuation of Pennsylvania Circle K's legacy. Without the leadership and the courage of this individual, the district might not have been in a, the mission, the, sorry, the district might have been in a very different place than it is today. By running off the floor at last year's district convention, this person decided to be the one who can make a difference. Thanks to Westchester University Circle K, the University City Kiwanis Club, and the Westchester Kiwanis Club, and the Pennsylvania District, we would like to present the Zeller Medallion to your 2012-2013 Pennsylvania District Governor, Victoria Sparrow.
such as the, um, the, M the Illuminate project for MNT. Um, so therefore, I decided, what the heck, why not? Um, so my partner in Kiwanis and Life, um, one for Dave as well. Oh wait, there's more. I also decided to donate enough to get myself this out. <laughs> two weeks ago, a key club asked what key club I belong to. <laughs> Ken has a very hands-off approach as an administrator. And while in some situations that might bring frustration to our board, he has been such a source of advice, wisdom, support, a channel for frustration, and I know on behalf of the entire district board, Ken is more than deserving of this seller. We would not be here without him and his leadership. When we did not know what to do, and even though he would like to hide it, he had no idea what we were doing either. <laughs> Things always ended up okay in the end. And uh, we wouldn't be here without him, without Dave, or without Vicky. So, but this, this one goes out to Ken. Round of applause. <laughs> Uh, Randy, no, Natalie, I'm sorry. No, uh, no. wait. 